stuff. But well, Coach, uh, opportunity to become a defensive coordinator and come here to ULM. Just uh, first of all, what uh, what is it that got you excited about this opportunity to come here to ULM? You know, I think the uh, the vision of the, the program. You know, Coach Bowden does such a good job of, you know, like he said, he's flipped programs all over the country, and, and to have the opportunity to come here and be a part of that, I think, is something special. You know, and then obviously for me, you know, to be able to call plays and to, to be involved heavily with the defense and make those decisions, you know, is something that you know, it's a goal been on my board for a long time. Time and the chance to do that and to do it in a place like this where I do believe we can win. There's a hunger and a desire to win and you know the community, the people here, you know, they're invested, you know, and so are we. I think that's something that's that's big and, and that the kids understand as well. Like, you know, it's it's gonna be a higher level and a higher standard that they're held to and the benefit we've had of as a staff is perspective. You know, we have a lot of multiple national championship rings on the staff. I mean just overall. So we know what it takes to win. Um, and, and we're ready and we're prepared to do that and to help our guys to understand that as well. You know, to have your time at Boise, have your time at Clemson, just how much do you draw on that as far as learning how to build things and, and try to drive toward that kind of success? I mean, certainly every day. I mean, the, the things that you know, Coach Harson, Coach Sweeney, Coach Venables, Coach Schmetting are the guys I've been around, the you know, elite performers in this business. I mean, you know, Boise has won more than anybody. Clemson has won more than anybody in the last couple of years. And, um, just the the expectation because they know how hard they work and what they do to be successful and to you know, take the field and, and they know going out you know, there's a belief they believe because they know they've done the things that, that it takes to get there and you know I think that I draw from those a lot you know as I think of my day to day how I talk to my players I see I sound like some of the other coaches you know that I treat that I consider mentors and friends and um, it just comes out of me that way and that'll be a part of me forever. You know, to have worked for Coach Venables regard as maybe the best defensive coordinator in college football. How much did you learn from a guy like that that's had his success? I mean, everything. I mean, he's a, you know, like a father figure to me and a great man and fun to be around and, you know, I try and imitate him and all the things I do because he's been successful. You, you try and emulate and, you know, work for, towards all the you know, the people that you know and you've seen that do it the right way and if they've been successful, obviously you want to you imitate those guys and not the ones that haven't, you know, and so I draw from that constantly and he's such a, you know, just a, a great coordinator, great mind, and then a great mentor and a coach, and he loves his players and loves the people he's with, and you know, that's something that you you, know, you can't replicate everywhere, the success, and, and then also the, the way he treats people. You know, for you, being the youngest defensive coordinator in the FBS, how does that maybe help you relate to your players, help build that culture, especially on the defensive side of the ball? I mean, I, I tell them all the time, man, I'm the, I'm the closest guy to being in your shoes as there have been in, in the country, because some guys, they've never had an online class. I don't know what that looks like, you know, and so the, the chance to be able to connect with them that way and bring the energy and talk their language and understand terms and things they say, I think that's a big deal. You know, when they feel that energy and that, that enthusiasm and nothing else, we're going to have fun. You know, we're going to have a lot of fun when we're out there and getting things done. And, you know, it'll be hard work, but we'll enjoy it. So excited for that. What's maybe do you see right now is the biggest key to getting this defense going in the right direction? You know, I just think buy-in. You know, guys that you know are committed, they're all into the process, what we're doing, and you know we'll get to the football part you know, soon. But right now, it's those guys getting bigger, stronger, faster, and, and just being prepared for you know the challenges that are in front of them because they'll be big. But you know, we're ready to face and meet those.